Welcome back to Pink Oddbird. Today what I'm here with is my July Calico Collage Design Team project and this one is simply called Songbird because that is the name of the kit. It's a beautiful little kit. It's vintagey. It's dusty. It's like birds and all. So Songbird, that's the name of the kit. I will link to all of the information that you need to know in the description box below so be sure to check there. And I want to give a little shout out to Kim. Thanks for your help on this cover while I was working on it. I appreciate that. And all right, so let's go ahead and take a look on the inside. Okay, friends, so this is a soft cover book. It's a manila envelope. And I did do all the treatments to it, but it ended up getting covered in the end. <laughs> it measures five and a half by nine. And like I said, it's a vanilla envelope. I stitched around the perimeter of the book on the front and the back. And then I just have it lined with this really pretty pink lace. And then as you can see on the back of the book, this image is part of the kit. And then on the front, and then on the front, I also have lined some lace on there. I have some little buttons there at the top, a little button collage. I used some gold grommets to have the seam, bi seam binding closure on it. And I have some pretty crochet trim down here at the bottom from Miss Kim and some little pearl trim that wraps around and follows through to the back. So on the little cover here, I have a little metal piece and I just glued it down part way so that you could tuck something in there. Right now I just have this little tag in there that says Songbird and that's again the name of the kit. But I thought it was kind of cute because when you put it in here, she's like, like this <laughs> and then when you move it it's like a bird <laughs> see her hands <laughs> all right anyway <laughs> let's take a look at the inside it's one signature there's about 20 pages in this book so that means uh, so there's about 80 pages front and back um, and in this book I really just wanted to focus mostly on the kit itself so there aren't a lot of like extra pages it's just mostly focusing on the kit. So here on the front cover, I have just lined it with another page that comes with the kit. And then I have a little ruffle here with a little bird feather because we are talking about songbirds. And then I have a little piece of crochet trim that I've added there as well. And then in the inside pocket, I accidentally printed one of the pages on some graph paper that I had in my printer for something else and so I was like oh it's kind of neat anyway so I just printed the back of it with the lined pages that comes in the kit and then I had a, another extra little scrap piece of, of coffee stained paper I just stamped the little this book belongs to you on it so that can be written on as well okay so as you can see the kit pages are going to be printed out on cardstock and then in between, I've just added some coffee stained uh, types of paper. So here I just made like a little book page tag. I just layered up a few pages of book pages and then I gessoed on them. And then I, as you can see, I've stamped and then um, the backs are just gessoed so that you can just write on the back of those. And then all, like I said, all the images come from the kit. Some more stamping down here at the bottom. And I stamped out a little feather here. I'm trying to really keep with the recurring theme of birds and music because bird song. <laughs> song bird. <laughs> All right, so another beautiful image. I love when they come with these aligned pages in the kit. So pretty. And then I just made a belly band out of one little piece. And then these little tags I backed on coffee stained paper and stitched around those. There really isn't much sewing in this book other than on some of the tags that I put in. So another page that I turned into a tag and then this is a little ephemera from Miss Kara. I love the images that come in here, so pretty. And I made a large tag out of these little birds and then I did some decorative stitching on there as well as you can see. And then I backed it with the coffee stained paper. Sorry if there's a little shake, it's really hot today. Um, so the window's open, so there's a little breeze coming through. So another piece here, backed on coffee paper. And then in here I just have a little tag and then a little Monopoly piece. And then this is, well it has a little nest on there, but I made one of my Potuckalopes. And then of course, as you know, it flips open just like this. 
and then you just fold it back up. Some more stamping. Oops. Some more stamping. I did a little decorative punch there. Another skinny little tag that I made. And then this piece is one of those self-contained uh, little stamp envelope thingies. And I got that from Miss Kara as well. Some ledger paper. A little envelope that I stitched around. And then the paper, I backed it on coffee paper. Music notes. Another one of my book page tags, and then another little coffee back tag, and then this is a little flip up here. Center of the signature. I just left it with this really beautiful image. Oops, upside down. So here I just added in a little vintage book page because I thought it was really cute. My bed is a boat! <laughs> and then this little piece, I made it so that it flips up and then of course you can do something up here, maybe add a picture. And then here this little piece flips down for more writing space. And then I just put this under. I did have, I did line some of the pages with a little bit of this really dainty lace so it's not like overbearing in the book. It's just a little, nice little detail that you can see. Another one of those tags. Another vintage book page here. And that's what the back looks like. little coffee paper tag and then another one of those Rita hey Rita <laughs> a little Rita flip I add a little trim there a little you can use maybe the back to journal and maybe mount a photo on the front of that but super pretty and then just a little project life card and that's just tucked in under some of these little scraps of coffee paper here little recipe card I think this book is so pretty so here I did another feather and then it opens out so you can do some more writing here and then it's also a little pocket so you have these two little pieces that just tuck in funny because there hasn't been a breeze literally like all day and then of course when I want to start filming it's easy breezy <laughs> I just put little pieces of pink lace on the tops of those some more of the kit paper there and another the other piece of that graph paper print that I printed on down here I have a little ruffle and then I just used a little Tim Holtz uh, Believe pendant and I attached it with a garment pin and some more of that crochet trim and there's my stamp and that is the end of Songbird. So um, as you can see it's a gorgeous kit. I love it so much. I think that I have told you everything about this. If I missed anything I will be sure to put it on the screen. This one is going to be listed up in my Etsy shop, so take a look down below in the description box for all the information that you need. So that's going to wrap it up for me, guys. 
be sure to stay tuned because you never know what direction this odd flock of ours is heading into. And until next time, toodaloo.